Hi, my name is Nicole. Welcome to my channel, Travel to Money. In this video, I'm going to talk about what a CD ladder is, the difference between a CD and a savings account, and how you can make the most of both by building out a ladder that works for you. If you are new here, I have created this channel to help you learn about how to travel, adventure, and have fun on the road to financial independence. I have traveled the world, I own a couple of houses in Spain, and I'm on a creative journey to financial independence. I believe the road to financial freedom can and should be fun. I hope you'll subscribe and join me on this journey no matter where you are starting from. Okay, we're going to jump in, but before I do, this is just your friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor, and before you do any kind of investing, you should always do your own research. Now, when I say CD, am I talking about that ancient disc-shaped object that we used to put into an audio source for music? No, nope, not this time. I'm talking about something called a certificate of deposit. A CD is a savings product sold to you by a bank, and they will offer you a fixed interest rate in exchange for you leaving a lump sum of money in the CD for a specified period of time. Usually, the interest rate offered for a CD is more than what you would get in a high-yield savings account. The benefit to you is that you earn more interest. The drawback is that you don't have access to your funds for whatever the specified period of time is. In a savings account, you can usually get to the money if you need it, but with a CD, you have to pay early withdrawal fees if you need some or all of the money prior to the completion of the agreed period. It really doesn't make any sense to open a CD if you think you'll need the money at some point during the life of that CD. CDs are often available in six month, nine month, one year, two year, three year, four year, and five year terms. Every bank can offer a variety of CD lengths, interest rates, and their own set of penalties as well. Typically speaking, most people choose to invest in the stock market for higher gains that usually amount to 8% per year or more. But due to the rise of interest rates, CDs and high yield savings accounts are looking a lot more attractive right now and without the volatility of the stock market. And the reason I want to talk about CD ladders today is because this is what I am doing with my emergency fund. As you can imagine, the stock market is not the place for an emergency fund, but a savings account only gets you so much interest. So if you have an emergency fund or other large sums of money, you can create a CD ladder that allows you frequent access to portions of your funds. This is what this looks like. Let's say you had a $10,000 emergency fund. You could divide up your emergency fund into four equal parts of $2,500 each. You would take the first $2,500 and put it in a high yield savings account. This is an account that you will always have access to and where it's easy to get money if you need it. Let's say that a high yield savings account earned 3.5% interest. This is not a regular savings account. Did you know that the average savings account in the US earns you less than half a percent in interest? You may not think that there is a huge difference between a half a percent and 3.5%, but let me just quickly show you the difference. I'm going to use the investment calculator on my website, traveltomoney.com. You can use the calculator too, putting in your own numbers to see how much money you could make over time and in interest. There's a link in my description for quick access. Let's say that you had $10,000 in a savings account that was earning you half a percent interest. If it sat there for 40 years, you would have $12,208, meaning that over 40 years, that half a percent interest earned you $2,208. But if you put that same $10,000 into a high yield savings account earning you 3.5% interest and let it sit for the same 40 years, you would have $39,593. Meaning that over those 40 years, that 3.5% interest earned you $29,593, almost quadrupling your investment. This is why it is so important that you take advantage of the best savings rates you can find. And while we're on that note, be sure that you choose a bank that is FDIC insured. Right now, savings account rates are at some of the highest rates we've seen in years. Keep in mind that interest rates can fluctuate as the Fed changes the rate at which banks can borrow money. When the federal fund rate goes up, that means that things like mortgage interest rates go up, which is generally not great for the consumer, but it also means that banks will often raise the interest rate on your savings account, which is good for you. 
In any case, you always want to have your savings in an account that is high yield and that will maintain some of the highest interest rates available, even as the rates fluctuate. Now, let's get back to that CD ladder we were talking about. Hopefully the savings account example now has you understanding why every half a percentage point really matters and why you would want some of your emergency savings in a CD if it offers a higher interest rate than your high yield savings account. For those of you who hate the volatility of the stock market, the nice thing about a CD is that you get the rate that you are told you will get over that specified period of time. Okay, so let's say that you're going to build a CD ladder that basically has four rungs on it. The bottom rung is your $2,500 high yield savings account. The next rung on the ladder will be a six month CD. And let's just pretend that it is going to bring in 4%, which is half a percentage point higher than your high yield savings account. Then rung number three is going to be a one year CD. And let's just pretend that the one year rate available to you is going to be 4.5%, which is half a percentage point higher than your six month CD and one percentage point higher than your high yield savings account rate. You can probably guess by now that your fourth rung on the ladder will be an 18 month CD, which is one year and six months. Let's just pretend that this CD interest rate is 5%, which is another half a percent higher than that year-long CD. It's important to know that the interest rates won't always vary in this same way, and sometimes the bank you use might even offer a higher rate for a shorter term. It depends on several factors, but instead of you throwing three quarters of your emergency fund all into one CD that lasts a year and a half, leaving you unable to touch your money for that long period of time, with a CD ladder, you have access to those chunks of money every six months. Now, you can build a CD CD ladder over different periods of time, but I personally like having the CD maturity dates every six months. This gives you frequent access to a chunk of your money if necessary. Now I used $10,000 as an example, and I'm specifically talking about an emergency fund, but you should make sure that if you only have access to one quarter of your emergency fund, that it's enough to get you through six months if you lost a job and didn't have income coming in. This number is a very personal amount that depends on so many different factors. There is a bank I'm currently using that has great rates for CDs and savings accounts. I'm going to put that link in the description, but I don't want to name them here because I will try to keep that link updated over time as rates change, since there might be a bank that has a better offer down the line. Now, if this all sounds straightforward to you and you're ready to go open a high yield savings account and CDs, then great. But if you feel a bit overwhelmed and don't know where to start, I understand that too. One of the things I offer on my website is one-on-one -on -one financial coaching, not the same as a financial advisor. I'll just be there to help you create a budget and can help you to do the research so that you have actionable steps that will be easy for you to take. If you can figure it out on your own, great, do that. But if you need that help to get started, be sure to check out traveltomoney.com forward slash coaching. Ultimately, whether you get there with help or you get there on your own, let's just make sure you get there. Making sure that your money is making money for you. Do me a favor, give this video a like, and even better, subscribe to join me every day where travel and adventure build financial freedom. I can't wait to see where your dreams will take you.